Hey guys, hello, hello, yes. Why am I so excited? Well, it's herb giveaway time. Yes, 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 yes it is. Yes, today we are giving away herbs, we are giving away herbs. So for those of you who entered the raffle, oh, guess what? Ah, today we have two winners, yes. We got two winners, guys. We have two winners. So for anybody who winter, uh, who entered the raffle, two of you lucky guys will be winning some herbs today. All right? Yes, 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 yes. Um, I decided to um, have two winners because last week we were supposed to have the draw. And unfortunately, uh, my husband had an event and... Um, I had to attend the event and I wasn't able to announce the winner. So I'm sorry, guys. I'm having some tea. It's a little chilly here. All right. So, hmm, wow. All right. So before, before, let me just get on with it. All right. Before I start to ramble, let me just get on with it. So I am going to announce the first winner. Give me a second. Give me a second. So I have in front of me here a little box, right? And everyone that entered this raffle, all y'all names are in this box, okay? Every single one of y'all names are in here. So I'm just gonna put my hand right down in there and grab a name, all right? Come on, come on. We have a and then Lisa Beasley. Uh, uh, wait, am I saying that right? And then Lisa Beasley. And then Lisa Beasley. There we go. All right. S it sounds like a, it's a yes, a f sister. Hey, sister girl. You have won yourself some herb, girl. Yes. All right. Let me tell you what you want. Sister Beasley, you have won yourself some chase tree berries. Uh, actually, this is a reprodu female reproductive herb, okay? And uh, I did promise you in the, um, you guys, I did promise you guys when I made that initial video that I'm going to explain to you the herbs that I'm going to be giving to you, I'm going to tell you what it is that they do, okay? So, this is a female reproductive formula, all right? And I'm going to tell you a little bit, um, the, the main herb in this formula here is called Chase Tree Berries, a.k.a. Vitex. Every woman should know what this herb is. If you don't know what it is, go to Google right now, type in chase tree berries or vitex berries look it up guys if you're a sister you should know what this is because so-called black woman in america suffers the most when it comes to hormonal issues because you know listen when you remove when you remove somebody from their their original environment and place them somewhere else and feed them a totally new diet, a diet that does not belong to them. They're not going to be healthy. It's like when you, you take a, a plant from the Caribbean, a, Carib a, a Caribbean plant, let's say an, an orange tree or a mango tree, and you bring it here somewhere in America where it's freezing cold. You can't get that plant to survive. You're going to have to do something to that plant in order to, to, to get it to survive here. You're going to have to do some type of gen genetic modification, you see. So when you're uprooting something from its original environment and taking it somewhere else, it's going to be very difficult for that thing to survive, okay? And so that's what's happening to our men and women in this country. We are not having our original diet, and that's why we are on top of the list, we're all the way up here, 
as far as people who are dying faster from diseases because this is not our diet. We're not having this American pyramid diet that we've been having does not belong to us. It's not our diet, okay? So sisters, you guys are suffering the most from uh, hormonal issues, okay? Um, so chase tree berries, let me not ramble too much. Chase tree berries is one of the main herbs that is used to regulate a woman's hormone, okay? And a lot of you guys might think that you don't have hormonal issues. We all do. Let me tell you right now, we all do. If you've been eating the crap that you've been eating in this country, you have hormonal issues. The problem with a lot of us is that we don't know what the signs are. We don't know. Um, I've had women tell me, oh, I don't have any hormonal issues. And I'm looking at them and they have, they have hair on their chin. Beard, like whiskers. I see whiskers growing out of their chin. And they're sitting there telling me, no, I don't have hormonal issues. Y yeah, you do, because you're not supposed to have beard um, or any type of hair, uh, a noticeable facial hair, you know, that looks like whiskers, like stuff that should be coming out of a man's face. You're not supposed to be having that type of stuff. And then the more I talk to these sisters, um, do you have horrible monthly period, like a uh, heavy, really heavy bleeding? What about back pain, uh, horrible cramps every month, a uh, tender breast and stuff like that, you know? Um, yes, but well, uh, if you're having those issues, then you are having hormonal I uh, uh, issues, okay? So a lot of us are having hormonal issues, but we just don't know. We, we just don't know because we don't recognize the warning signs, all right? And even if you don't, have hormonal issue if you don't think you do you need to take things to prevent it see what i do is i teach prevention that's what i do i teach prevention you don't wait until you get sick and then you start taking care of yourself sickness is what happened when you don't take care of yourself so what you want to do is you want to take care of yourself so you don't get sick it's common sense so um what i do is i take precautionary measures to make sure that i don't have these issues um hormonal issues and this type of issue and that type of issue that's what you do prevention uh, my grandmother used to say prevention is better than a cure okay so you take measures to prevent things so don't wait until you get a uh, hormonal problem sisters um take care of your female reproductive system all right we all have one every single one of us women have a female reproductive system we need to ma make sure that we're taking care of it so again the main herb in this uh formula here is called chase tree berry aka vitex and this is one of the main herb that is used to regulate a, a woman's hormone okay bring it back together all right um so that way every month you don't go crazy on your husband you know with that little mood swing that y'all have every month mm -hmm. yeah i know <laughs> it used to happen to me okay so um yes and um we have another herb in here called, well, we have about three or four, no, actually about four or five different herbs in here, right? And one of the other main herbs that I have in here is called saw palmetto, saw palmetto. And saw palmetto is used as one of the best herbs that is used um, for menorrhagia to uh, stop heavy bleeding, okay? Those monthly heavy period. Um, it's very good for that, all right? Um, and these herbs are very expensive, especially saw palmetto. It's a very expensive herb, okay? Y'all lucky I love y'all, because these are very expensive herbs. <laughs> okay, so congratulations, uh, Sister Van Lisa Beasley. You! All right. Wait, hold on. Let me, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me see if Sister Beasley left her... Um, her address. I, I did I did tell y'all to leave your address. Uh oh. She didn't leave her address. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Guys, you know, if you go back and watch the original video, I specifically said you gotta leave your address because 
I can't send you these herbs if if you if you joined a raffle and you win uh, the herb. I can't send it to you if I don't have an address. Oh, Sister Beasley, you gotta send me an address, girl. All right. Um. Uh, Maccabees TV at gmail.com. You can send your address through that email, okay? Maccabees TV at gmail.com. All right. Okay, let's see who the next lucky winner is. All right. Okay. Abracadabra. Okay. got some really weird names over here. <laughs> Office Desk Bling. Office Desk Bling. All right, Mr. Bling Bling or Miss Bling Bling. <laughs> you have won yourself some herbs. All right. Now, if you are a man, you're a very lucky man today because you've won yourself some very expensive herbs here. All right. Uh, this herb, if you're, if you're a woman, um, you can you can give this to the man in your life. I'm sure you have at least one man in your life. It could be a brother, a father, whatever, husband, whatever it is. Okay. Now, if you are a brother, Miss Miss or Mister Office Desk Bling, then you're a lucky dude today because um, you won yourself some very expensive herb. Um, this here is a prostate formula. Okay. And one of the main herb in here is white sage, white sage. And white sage happened to be extremely expensive. I don't know why it's so expensive, but it is, okay? And um, guys, um, a few weeks ago, I did a live stream on the prostate. Um, you can go to Maccabees TV and watch that, uh, that video uh, where I did a, a demonstration um, and I, I, I explain... Um, uh, you know about the uh, prostate enlargement and how you how why you're getting prostate enlargement and prostate cancer and what you can do to prevent it okay um, unfortunately most brothers um, don't know how they get prostate uh, uh, cancer or prostate enlargement and they don't even know how to fix it um, and the reason I'm talking to you guys about um, um, well, actually the reason I chose this formula, the reason I wanted to give away this formula, um, um, is because as I mentioned in that video, so-called black men in America, um, die twice, twice as fast, uh, from prostate cancer than men of other nation, twice. Right? You guys die twice twice faster, twice as fast. Um, that's not good. That's not good. And there's a reason for that. There's a reason for that. It's not because, you know, the white man hates you and <laughs> it's, it, he, he does, but you, that's not the reason why, okay? Um, if you go and watch that video, I explain to you guys why. Why it is that black men, that brothers are dying faster from prostate cancer. Um, a lot of you got prostate issues and don't even know it, okay? Um, sadly, because uh, I have a family member. I have someone very close to me uh, right now with prostate cancer, okay? I have three people in my, in my family with prostate cancer, and I just found all of this out. All of this I just found out in, 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 in about uh, in the span of about two months now, all right? I just found this out. Um, I have someone close to me with prostate cancer, and sadly, he had no idea that he was suffering from a prostate issue, and so that's not good. Um, that's not good at all. You have a lot of brothers who are suffering from prostate issues, and they don't know the warning signs. They don't know what what the warning, uh, warning signs are, so they do nothing about it. Uh, when I spoke to this person, and one of the questions I asked him, did you notice that you were having issues before you got diagnosed? And he says, no. 
And it really shocking to me because one of the main issue that a man is going to notice right before he, he gets, he comes down with prostate cancer, he's going to be having issues with his bladder, meaning it's going to be quite difficult for him to go to the bathroom and urinate. Okay. Either he's going to have issue urinating or, uh, meaning that, you know, the, the, the urination is, is going to be difficult coming out or sometimes he can't control the urine, meaning it's just flowing and he, you know, it's not, he's not able to stop it. Just different, um, problems with the bladder. Um, and when you start to have that issue, brothers, it means that your prostate has become large, swollen. Yes. It means that your prostate has now become swollen. It's become enlarged and it's squeezing up against your bladder. And which is why you're having issues with urination, right? So if you ever find yourself having bladder issue, all right, can't go to the bathroom or it's just a whole bunch of different issues with, uh, urination, you might be having some issues with your prostate. And if you don't do anything about it, you don't, you don't, you don't want that. Pro Let me just say this. You don't want that problem at all. <laughs> when you begin to have prost uh, prostate issues, you're going to have a lot of problem with your manhood. Okay. And if you're a man, you need your manhood. I'm talking about issues with your, um, testicles and stuff like that. You know? Yeah. Y'all don't want that problems. Seriously. You don't, you don't want that. Okay. And so when I talked to this family member and uh, he says to me that he didn't even know, he had no idea. He was having issues urinating. I said, what did you do? He says, I did nothing. I, you didn't go to the doctor? No. So he sat home for a long time, a very long time with this bladder issues, uh, and did absolutely nothing, absolutely nothing. And it eventually progressed, progressed progress and turn into cancer because this brother did absolutely nothing. We cannot be so lackadaisical. We cannot. And a lot of brothers from my experience dealing with brothers, what I've noticed is brothers are a bit more lackadaisical when it comes to their health. They are, they get so embarrassed with what's going on with them. Um, especially if it has to do with their private parts. Okay. Brothers get so embarrassed that they don't speak to anyone. They don't talk about it. They don't ask for help. And they sit down, they sit there with it and they suffer. They suffer. And you're not doing anyone else a favor. You're doing yourself a favor when you ask for help and you seek help. You're not hurting anyone else. You're hurting yourself, brothers. You're hurting yourself. When you have an issue like that and you sit around and you do nothing about it, you are hurting yourself. Because, yeah, you know, we're all going to die one day. I know. You know, but nobody wants to sit and suffer. See, there's a difference between just dropping dead one day from a heart attack and then sitting around for years suffering, 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 suffering. You know, and I've seen it. I've, I've watched brothers, um, you know, in their 50s and 60s just sat around and suffer from these issues. Um, so when you think, oh, we're going to drop dead one day... Uh, you might not drop dead one day. You might, the most I might preserve your life, but you might be sitting around suffering from an illness, waking up every day crying because you're hurt. Something is hurting. Something is, is just killing you and, and you're just suffering. Nobody wants to live like that. But anyway, so um, brothers, um, take care of your prostate. All right. Take care of your prostate. I cannot say that enough. So the reason I wanted to give away this herb, um, I had two winners today and I wanted to have a herb for men and one for women. All right. So, uh, the first herb I had, as you guys see, was one for women and the other one was for a man. And, um, this is a, a formula to, and even if you don't have a prostate issue, preventative measures is what's important. You want to be able to prevent some of these illnesses. All right. Um, if you don't know where to go, to enter this uh, raffle, all right, um, it's very easy. You're going to go to wakeupjacob12.com, 
and you're going to go to the little um, donate box right up top to the right. I'm going to put the information down below in this video again. Um, and you're going to click on that donate button and uh, it's three dollars to enter this raffle. Three bucks. That's it. Three dollars. And that's going to go towards your shipping costs for the herbs. Okay. So three dollars. Um, you're going to enter three bucks. And um, just make sure you're leaving your name and address, please, okay? And so we can send the herbs to you, all right? So you're going to go to wakeupjacob12.com. You're going to go up top to the right. Uh, uh, there's a little button that says donate, and you're just putting $3 there to enter your the raffle. You leave your name and address, and uh, you will be enter into this raffle to win the herbs, all right? Uh, what else am I missing? So let me see. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me see if uh, Office Desk Bling left us his address. Ah! Yes, he did. Or she. Or he or she. I have no idea. Office Desk Bling. But congratulations again, Mr. or Miss bling you have won yourself some herb for the prostate and a woman can take this herb as well all right um yeah so guys um like i said brothers there's a video that i did on the prostate please go and watch that it's on maccabees tv okay and sisters i did a video about the female uh Funny thing, actually, these two are herb. This herb is for the male reproductive system. This herb is for the female reproductive system. Would you look at that, okay? Look at that. All right, so did a herb on the male reproductive system. The prostate is a part of the male reproductive system, all right? And that uh, video is on Maccabees TV. And um, I did a video about the female reproductive system, and that video is on Sisters of the Maccabees, this channel here. You guys can go and take a look at it. I think I have quite a few videos on the female reproductive system, and I have quite a few videos where I talk about these herbs here, all right? The chase tree berries and all of these herbs that are in, in this uh, formula here. Okay, so congratulations to Avan Lisa Beasley and office desk bling you guys are this week's lucky winner uh of these herbs okay so again to enter the raffle for those of you who um you know just joining us um again go to J wake up jacob 12 wake up jacob 12.com and the little donate button is up on the top right and you just go there to enter um your three dollars to uh to to be entered into the raffle okay oh wait a minute wait a minute what do we have here what do we have here hold on guys give me a minute Give me a minute. Okay. You guys don't know what this is, but I'm going to tell you. These are moringa seeds. These are actually mor the the uh, the, the uh, moringa pods. These this is let me show you guys. Let me show you guys. Look there. Look in there. Those what you're looking at inside of the pods there are moringa seeds. Okay, you guys know what moringa is, right? The moringa plant, the moringa herb. It's a very very um very wonderful herb. Lots of medicinal property and very expensive. Um, so this, these are, let me, don't, I, I won't even tell y'all how I got these, okay? Because, <laughs> I will not tell y'all how I got this. Because, um, whoo, you know, we can't, we're not supposed to have, uh, seeds in this country from other countries, but we're not going to go there. Anyway, you know, Esau is something else. But anyway, these are moringa seeds. 
And one of you lucky winners might win some of these, is what I'm trying to say, okay? The Moringa plant is a very important plant, all right? It has lots of medicinal property. And the seeds, the seeds have a lot of medicinal properties in there, okay? And this herb and the seeds are very expensive, very. You, you can go online and look up Moringa seeds and Moringa herb, and you will see a lot of people are selling it very expensive, okay? One of you lucky guys might be lucky enough to win some fresh Moringa seeds straight from the pods, okay? This, these are the pods, all right? You'll never see this anywhere else. Mm. When you go online to purchase this, you don't get it in the pod, let me tell you. So I got some fresh Moringa seeds here in the pod, okay? And some of you lucky winner might be able to win them, okay? All right? That's one of those seeds. And uh, I'm not going to explain to you guys today um, the benefits. If uh, you happen to win them, I'll tell you what the health, the, the, the health benefit is, okay? All right, so, yeah. Congratulations again. Office that's bling and Avanlisa Beasley, you guys are the lucky winner of our monthly, I think I'm going to have this, um, this, um, raffle monthly because I get really busy and, um, I think it's more convenient for me to do it once a month. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys up to date. All right. So, congratulations, guys. I'll see you guys in the next winning, all right? Yes. Mm, this herb is good. Oh, my goodness. Bye.